Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. Today it's me Pierre Farrugia and we are above Papai village. Today we're going to trek from Papai village inside Maestral Park. I never done this trek, but today we're going to start this trek from this beautiful location, which is Papai village. It's called Papai village because it's the set where Papai uh, film was done here many, many years ago. Eh? Look at uh, the cliffs up there, how beautiful they are. And this is the actual set that people can visit with animators here. And uh, some people get their children here, it's very interesting, eh, please. We're going to do is we're going to walk all the way, walk down the ramp right here, so we can visit this part here. Eh? I am confident that today is going to be another beautiful trek. Eh? Now we are walking down this road. This road uh, looks that it's been cut uh, by men, so uh, to produce this road to go down in front of Papai village. Well, uh, now I have just removed my shoes, look, bare feet, and I'm going to try to walk and not slip up of this pontoon here, which is all down, broken down. Eh? I'm taking great care because it's slippery here and I don't want to fall. Eh? So, we're going to reach up here. I have some more water we have to cross. And I have to find uh, where it's not deep. Because here it's all broken down. I made it to the middle of the bay on this broken up here. But the view from here is weird. It looks how beautiful this area is. There have some people that are swimming here. We are just under the cliffs, and there is a small cave down there. Look how nice. And here we have a huge sailing boat docking here and getting uh, tourists here as well. And here you can see how the pier is broken down. Eh? And even like this, you get a better view, first of all, of this beautiful sea. Eh? And here, you can admire Popeye village from here. And this we only started, I didn't actually do anything here. It was worth it going down here. I have the bottom of my pants wet, but uh, they, were, they are quick dry. And now, we start the proper hiking. Eh? And look the view from here, I think this is the best view you can get of this uh, Papai village and bay. Eh? Look how beautiful it is. Isn't that amazing? Uh, a lot of people swimming here. Uh, Papai village is there. The cliffs. Very rugged and beautiful as I like them. Uh, and we have our beloved sun and today is not so hot. So let's continue this vlog. Eh? Because we have plenty to see. Now uh, we are at the mouth of the bay. Uh, look how nice it is. I, if I'm not mistaken, the other part there is Ami. We covered uh, with a video as well. Uh, and here it's very nice, especially those uh, sea caves that look here. Uh, I have to come with my kayak here. Now I made it on the other edge. Uh, it's beautiful here. Uh, very rocky. Uh, beautiful sea color. Uh, some sea caves. This coast is beautiful. Many people, you can see many people trekking here and up there as well. I did two videos. Eh? That point up there is called Russell Wash, and on top I did the Maestral Park trek. Eh? So now let's continue here. Eh? Ah, look. And even here, like the other part, eh? we can find uh, a path cut into the rock. Eh? There were stairs before, but and even there are some now. So people can go down here and enjoy this part. It's amazing what these people used to do. Well, until now, it was a relatively uh, easy walk or trek, so uh, because we are walking on uh, rocky terrain, so uh, but can be done, I think, by 99% of the people at it here. It's very easy to, to walk around. And uh, yeah, one can enjoy nature even with his family here. But keep in mind that if you run here 
and you fall it's not going to be nice eh? look how beautiful the terrain is here eh? and I have to say that I regret not coming in shorts eh? because it's very very hot it's relatively flat here but you keep in mind that it's rocky eh? on Google Maps it listed that they are building ruins here eh? and one can find this wall eh? I will check on the other side as well eh? but looks like a man-made wall eh? I have to jump from one rock to the other I'm not sure if this one is like a stairs here but there is no, no other buildings here but these sheer cliffs eh, here I take care because it's a long fall and here we start to get very higher the rocks here uh, look how squarish they look It's another beautiful uh, part of the park eh? that I never visited. Look how beautiful this is here. Even the stone, uh, the layering of the stone. Now I reach this part uh, on the cliffs uh, and there is this beautiful bay. Eh? I don't think it's accessible or maybe it could be accessible down there, uh, but going down won't be easy. And my target is to continue around the ridge and most probably I have to head up there eh? Walking on the cliffs, one can find these big cracks eh? Although I don't think they're going to fall today But it's always there's a chance eh? that the cliff is falling, crumbling down piece by piece eh? In fact this week in the news they are going to relocate Madonna Talaharash because of the cracks there are eh? and the chance that we can lose it forever eh? look at the views and how bright the sun is eh? and how beautiful this area is another thing to consider eh? because many places many people go into the edges of the cliff eh? look at this edge of the cliff here eh? it's very thin people can walk up there and as you can see from fragments here it will give way and lead to injury or death so always check uh, about places like this that you can easily get injured in eh? because even here wherever you look uh, it's crumbling from beneath eh? now I reach the highest point of this area or very close and look how beautiful it is eh? that bay down there with the clay slopes are you can see up to Gozo eh, from here eh, how beautiful it is. Eh. There's Adira Bay. Meliha. Eh. It's amazing eh, here. And it's all for me. Eh. There's nobody here or near me. And look at the cliffs down in the cliffs. Eh. Hope you are enjoying the views as much as I'm doing. But here is amazing, yeah, this part. I, you know that I love being on top of the cliffs and seeing the, the sea. Yeah? It's pretty amazing. Yeah? You have to take care of walking here because it's easy to trip. But as usual, I take my, my safety very seriously because I want to do another vlog and go to my family. And most probably, I will get children here. Eh? Maybe we do a nice picnic. But a nice picnic as it should be, eh? no fires, everything clean. We bring everything to with us, so we don't have problems. Not because of having problems with the rangers, because we have to help the rangers keep here clean. Eh? Which is how we should start thinking about these places. Not that if we do something we get in trouble, that if we do litter or vandalize here we will ruin our heritage our nature our malta not because we can get a fine and then we grumble because we get fine so let's start change our mentality and uh, abroad as well they have a mentality of leave no trace 
which I think we should start doing with uh, trekking, camping, that you go into a place and you pack everything with you. You leave nothing behind. So as you find it, you will leave it. But let me get you another view and stop talking because some people even grumble that I talk too much. And sometimes it's true, huh? But it's amazing, eh, the view. One of the best views you can get. So let's continue. Well, that small dot there is uh, Eisenhower Observation Tower. Eh? And here we are still on top of these massive cliffs. Eh? But it's amazing how nice it is here. Eh? Uh, the weather is perfect, although it's very sunny. Eh? But it's beautiful. And one, but I don't think one can go down here, I think from here. And another thing one have to take care of, look how the cracks. Here, look, oops, here an oops is not good sign. Eh? There's a big crack uh, going down here. It's uh, here. We have no access, eh? it looks like it's private land, eh? yeah, but uh, this is good, eh? this is uh, made from the Maestral Park, eh? it says it's private and uh, gives you direction where to go, so we have to follow the clips. Eh? Well, now I have walked all the way to this rubble wall, eh? and here eh? Look, uh, I, I like this a lot. Eh? And here is a label from the Maestral Park that show you where you have to walk. So we have to go at the, at the edge of the cliff. Eh? So let's respect the landowners. So we keep a balance between us having fun and they having their private land. Eh? There is where we started. Era. We are following the contour here and now we're going uphill and we have to go all that way up there eh? so let's continue our trek there's a path here look how nice it is from here look it's very hot eh? but it's nice i think from here one can go down that route but I'm going to keep on top. I'm on top again and look how beautiful the scene is. Eh? There's gold, you can see it clearly with the church, although with the GoPro you cannot see. And here is this nice track going into the sun eh? and it's very hot today. But where is it? Eh? Here you can do multiple tracks because you can go up here, you can go from down here, which is very, very beautiful. And keep in mind, you are in a national park. Eh? Here we are discovering more parts of this area, more beautiful parts. Eh? As I always uh, take care about these ledges, are, look, they are just uh, 15 centimeters uh, thick. And that one is even worse. Eh? It's all eroded from the bottom. But the views from here, everywhere you go, and even if you hike down there, it's another beautiful hike. Eh? It's an amazing place. And we can go. And it was a very easy walk, eh? and now nothing big. It can be done by everybody. Eh? Having uh, good traction shoes, and no problem. Hope you are enjoying this kind of vlogs. I like doing them a lot because it uh, shows how beautiful Malta is. Uh, maybe we don't have forests, but these cliffs here are just amazing. Eh? Although I wish to go in a forest and hopefully this January I will go. But till now, and not till now, I have to be proud of my beautiful country. Eh? And uh, there's a lot to be proud of. We have our small problems. But at the end, we have a lot to offer eh? to Maltese and even foreigners. Eh? 
Well, while walking here on the edge of the cliffs. Now we can start seeing, like last time, a lot of rubble walls eh, down here. Look, and I think they are still used till now. Eh? Uh, there's another rubble wall there, so I don't have idea what it is. And also, it's very interesting, there there is a World War II pillbox, which I have to go and have a look as well. Eh? And here, uh, I didn't know about, there is another path. There are more steps, uh, look how many steps there is here. Uh. You can go down this way, uh, so you can go down there. Uh. And uh, last time, uh, there is where I finished the vlog. There are some stairs and there are some stairs, but they don't lead down. But now let's go to visit that pillbox there, uh, because it looks very interesting. Here we can find the World War II pillbox. Uh. Pity that graffiti there, that doesn't belong there, as I always tell you. Uh, up here, uh, you can see damage while being attacked there. Uh, there are the shooting ports, uh, some of them, they have been blocked uh, to cover this area. It's closed, but let's have a peek inside there. It's relatively clean. Uh, and one can go up this ladder so they can protect from above. Eh? And now let's continue. It's closed. It's closed. More places where one can shoot her eh? and we can have a look from here. As if we are inside there. There is where they used as a ladder to go up. It's really, really in good condition. Let's go out again. This is for the guns, they can shoot from us. Look like the saranography to how beautiful it is, as it should be. Because graffiti ruin these places. Huh? Look. I prefer it without as always. Well, another beautiful track, so huh? we leave the pillbox behind. We have some insects, but here it's normal. Now I have to walk back to my car. Eh? Hope you enjoyed this vlog uh, here from uh, Papaya Village to my astral park. Uh, I will uh, leave a link about my astral park because there's a lot to see here and even the link when I did it from down there and from above, which is uh, worthwhile. Uh, if you want to help me as always, like, hit the like button and if you can, even comment below. Please subscribe and until next time, bye bye. Eh?